In this video, I'm going to talk about the Clover Mini 3 and how to turn it to kiosk mode and what, how you can set it up, uh, one, of the, one of the optimal ways. Again, there are many different ways you can set up your Clover Mini customer facing. So what I did in this example is I got this from Amazon and you can go on Amazon and search for the word podium and you can find different designs, different styles, and you can pick the one you like. So I bought this one here. I'll try to put the link below so you can also take a look at it as well. And you put your Clover Mini 3 on top. And also, by the way, watch my other video on the Clover Station so you can see the difference between what they look like. So this is the Clover Mini 3. We have the app Smart Online Order and we have the ability to turn it into kiosk mode. So to turn it into kiosk mode, you simply download the app and then you press kiosk. Once you do that, it becomes customer facing. It locks into this screen here and the customer cannot exit the screen unless they know the password. So you can leave it all alone by itself. And you're probably wondering, well, that's a good idea, but what if my customer knocks over my Clover Mini or they um, push the podium away or they're, 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 they're rough with the Clover device, right? So those are really good questions. So you do want to take precaution, uh, whether it's a Mini or a station to make sure that your customers um, do not tamper it or you know, drop it, right? So there's some things you can purchase. Uh, depending on your business and where you're gonna put it and all those factors, you wanna make the right decision. In my example, um, we have double-sided tape here, which you can put on the, uh, on the bottom of the Clover device itself. It'll keep it pretty firm. It's not gonna keep it super tight, uh, but you can do that with screws if you wish to. You can do that yourself or you can probably hire a handyman and they can come in and uh, try to uh, bolt this down to a specific location in your business where you want your customers to order, but not shake it or move it around, right? So I have not attached these yet, but I would just give you an example that you can actually use something like this. So the podium allows your customers to walk up to it and they, they press tap to order, and they will basically see your menu on the kiosk itself. Once you add your pictures, you make it look really nice, they'll be able to see your whole menu just like that, and they can order from here. Um, once they order, it sends the order to the kitchen printer, it prints out, and then your customers will be able to um, have their order ready for them. So it's just like standing in a line, but the main difference is that it frees up the line and your customers can walk up to this device here and order. And the nice thing about it is that um, the kiosk is very visually appealing. So if you have a menu board at your business, and that, main, that same picture you used for your menu board, you can actually upload it to your online order page and it'll show on the Clover uh, Mini or Clover device itself. So they can scroll through it, choose the modifiers, the toppings, uh, all the stuff that you have with that item and they can check out by themselves. They can either do pay with credit card or if you want, you can allow pay a location, meaning pay at the cashier. So they can do that as well. So they can just pay you with cash and then they can show up with their receipt and pay for the order. But that's up to you though, if you wanna do that. And finally, the best thing is that the kiosk accepts tips, right? So it'll be, it'll be a machine that'll be left alone um, and it will accept tips. Towards the end, it'll ask for a tip. If you wanna enable that, you can. If you don't wanna enable tips, you can do a service fee or service charge, or you can do both. Um, so that's up to you and you can enable that from the back end settings. So for example, I can order, it'll ask me for a tip and then I can choose my tip amount and the tip gets added to your uh, sales for the day and then you'll be able to collect the tip as, well, uh, tip as well. And the nice thing about all that is that it's basically, it's always there, always ready to take orders. So in case you have employee shortage or they're an, unable to show up to the business, you can use the kiosk and direct them to order from there while your cook or your chef makes the order. And nice thing about kiosk is you can see it times out by itself if it's due to inactivity, it will go back to the main screen. And you can choose how long to time out. You can say one minute, two minutes, three minutes, up to you. And if I don't press it, nothing, it'll time out by itself. Or I can just say, continue to purchase. And if the customer decides to walk away and does not want to order, they can simply press the X button and it'll leave the, um, the screen and it's ready for the next customer. So again, once the customer orders, it will, take, it will redirect the next customer and show them the menu again or the tap to order screen and they can begin their process. And on a final note, I wanna mention that this part right here is very customizable. You can put your logo, you can choose your background color, and you can also write your own text here with your own um, image here, so you can put that as well. So it makes it really vibrant, 
appealing, attractive, uh, and it grabs people's attention so they can come over and order and uh, order it from the kiosk. One thing I want to mention uh, before I wrap up the video is that you can get, you can get very creative. You can order something online like a logo. Uh, or something along those lines and put something on the back of the podium which says order here or you can put something here which says uh, order from the kiosk so again there's many different things you can do these are just my recommendations watch my other videos for other kiosk setups and you can get creative at your business and please do share how your kiosk is set up by posting on social media and tagging us so we can see how your kiosk has been set up with that being said thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one